and theater. A whole lot of it's still going on. The season isn't over yet. <laughs> That's right, and it's going to be going on for a while. The theater is premiering a new musical called George Remus. And of course, it tells the story of one of Cincinnati's most infamous bootleggers. Oh my, Michael Sherman plays the titular George Remus, and Maggie Perino is a theater director at Carnegie. Guys, thanks for coming yeah. in. We appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're excited to be here. Let's start with a brand new production, because I always think it's cool to be doing something that's that's completely new. And I mean completely new, because if you're doing something that's been done a billion times, you almost can't help but have that in the back of your head. Michael, when it's new, it's for it's for you. It's you're the you're the you know you're the first one. Is that good pressure or hard pressure? Uh, a little bit of both, yeah. right? Um, especially because he's such an iconic figure in Cincinnati history and folklore. It's like there is that pressure, like. You don't want to get it wrong, right? <laughs> sure. So, um, sure. But yeah, the being able to originate uh, a role in a world premiere, um, you know, as long as I've been doing theater, it's just something I've never done before, and it's really been a, a cool experience. That's so awesome. Very happy. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, what about premiering a musical? Because that adds a whole nother layer. <laughs> Not only is it a new play, but you've got to add the music, you got to, you know, score and do all that stuff. What What is that like? Well, it's really interesting. So we just added the band last night, right? Um, and it's not something where they couldn't listen to the CD beforehand, right? right? It wasn't like music they'd grown up with. With, um, we're rewriting the orchestral like arrangements as we're going, right? So wow. um, it's really interesting to be a part of it, and you just have to be on your game, right? You have to be ready for any changes, implement them fast, and just keep running. But that's kind of cool. I mean, it's such an organic, yeah. you know, kind of thing. Yeah. I would think. Yeah, yeah. And I was going to ask who wrote the music. For um, it. So Janet Vogt and Mark Friedman are the musical writers, and then the book is written by Joe McDonough. Um, the musical writers wrote like Tenderly, the Rosemary Clooney yep. musical, which we did the Carnegie a few years. Yeah. Go. Um, Joe McDonough has written like the Seven Dancing Princesses and things you might have seen at Ensemble Did Theater yeah. in their in their Christmas slot. So um, they're incredibly accomplished writers. This is their first collaboration. Have so. they never worked with Joe before? Uh, no, I've been they've a talked lot of about it for a long time, and this is sort of the first show they've put together all together. So oh, we're really great. excited to have all three of them. Well, for anybody who who doesn't know. Tell us about George yeah. Remus. <laughs> so George Remus uh, is known as King of the Bootleggers, right? Um, oh, there he is. He had a yes, there he is. Uh, <laughs> he had a, such an interesting story. He, he he and his family immigrated from Germany and settled in Chicago, and he really was a true American rags to riches story. He started as a pharmacist and then became a lawyer, and in his lawyering career. Um, defended some bootleggers and found out how much money there was uh, to be yeah. made in the Prohibition era of bootlegging. Uh -huh. And so he's like, well, I'm a really smart guy. I bet I can do it the best. And sure enough, he was right. Wow. That, I bet it's going to be a whole lot how of fun. I say, how could, there's a lot of meat on that bone. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. For a Especially that's being a musical yeah, that's about awesome. bootlegging. Yeah. That, yeah. that sounds yeah. like, are you enjoying it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, it's been quite the experience. And to just uh, delve into a character as interesting as this guy was, um, has just really been as an actor. It's really a joy just to like get in and find out what makes people tick. And there's a there's a lot to old George to, uh, to to figure out. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. Now, in addition to a world premiere, you've got some old favorites that are still running right now too, which is which is pretty awesome. Let's talk about yeah, that. Yeah. So we took on this summer sort of a cool experiment. Um, people may have heard of a repertory format. It's done a lot in Shakespeare or opera um, often, and it's where you're putting on a, a repertoire of plays. Plays, right, and you're doing them in a cycle, so they're all running at the same time. Um, so we have Into the Woods and Rent running, two <laughs> spectacular productions. Um, not easy to sing all of these shows in one weekend. Do any um, of the cast cross over? They yeah. do, Holy yes. Man. Yeah, yeah. Wow. so um, each show has between five and eight people that sort of cross over between the other shows. Wow. Um, and yeah, we're, we're changing sets, we're changing costumes, I'm rolling racks out of dressing rooms, pulling new racks in. Um, we're resetting mic plots, resetting props backstage. Um, it's it's an undertaking, I'll say that. Um, and we're getting into the part of August where we're literally going to be running all three shows on the weekend. So oh, you can cool. come see a different show Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You can still buy a season subscription, actually, and see all three in one weekend. So we hope people will come and check out these amazing people in not just one, but maybe as many as three shows. Just set up a tent in the lobby yeah, at the Carnegie go. and hang <laughs> out for a weekend. So don't sure. do that, but see all the shows. Now that's Never a dull moment over there. Never. That's, That's incredible. So just quickly, where can people find out more information? Get tickets, sure. all that. Just find us at thecarnegie.com. It's that easy. Well, Perfect. Easy yeah. Well, break a leg and yeah. have a great show. Thank good you. Good shows up. All yeah. those good things, yes. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. All right. Well, time now is 943 with kids heading back to school, getting dinner.